Hey y'all, so today we are going to the track and getting some seat time in the Cobra. I uh, can't get any better driving the car without practicing, so uh, today we joined Andrew with Mustang Lifestyle. Uh, Cody's going to be out there with his super nasty GT500. And uh, I'm just going to pull up the rear with my slow 11 second car and just get some seat time and practice. Uh, the next race that we are going to is in April. Um, that is the 352 shootout. Uh, that is a really awesome race. It's up in Gainesville. Um, we are going to be competing in uh, street stick class and the 1150 daily driver class. Now, although my car isn't a daily driver, it's also not much faster than the 1150. So I don't think many people are really going to complain. I'm, I don't really have that much of an advantage other than safety. Uh, so without further ado we're going to go ahead and hit the track but right before we do i'm going to show you the new setup uh if you guys follow my instagram or uh look at the feed post on the community tab you guys have already known uh that the raptor is gone um, unfortunately as much as i love that truck uh, it could not tow so i went ahead and got a 2021 5 liter fx4 uh you know just regular f-150 um, I don't regret it. I do love the Raptor. It's not like I didn't like it, but I needed something better to suit my needs. And an F-250 was just too far out of my price range. Uh, maybe in a year or so, I might get an F-250. But for now, I got a max tow package on this thing. It tows 13,000 pounds. Um, I'll go, I'll make a video on that soon and show you guys. The truck's actually super nice. If you haven't seen the 2021s yet, I, I mean, there, it blows me away that that's actually a Ford. But, uh, look at that rig no more squatting to the freaking floor like the raptor did and uh i gotta say i'm pretty happy with it so uh let's get to the track and get this thing unloaded and make our first pass off the trailer all right out of the track and man this thing is looking good so we got it ceramic coated shout out to bng mobile detailing if you guys are local to central florida they absolutely killed it i mean look at it it looks like a freaking mirror it is awesome it feels like glass oh it's absolutely gorgeous so at the private track rental there's like a dozen or so cars here and man we got some we got some good stuff for you because andrew's here with mustang lifestyle like i said but we have a 2020 gt500 making a thousand wheel horsepower this is going to be its first time hitting the track we're going to see what it does i'm really curious to see how it how it works so my goal today is to take this car and, and as it sits, no changes from NMRA Bradenton, just see if I can go out there and, and get a 1099 pass out of it with the T45 transmission, naturally aspirated, just as the car sits. Um, I, I think the mile an hour is there. Uh, it's the fastest trap speed we had was 126 miles an hour. So I'm gonna jump in the car here now. You know, we just unloaded it off the trailer. We got teched in, so I'm gonna go make a pass and just see what it does right off the trailer. breaking any records um, this is just right off the trailer I wanted to see what it could do I slipped the clutch a little bit too hard so I went 1660 uh, 11.5 at 119 which to be honest is great especially for the daily driver class because the breakout for the daily driver class at 352 is 11.5 so if I can be consistent and run as close to 11.5 as possible without going under um, I think that I actually have a really good chance of winning that class and that class takes home 850 bucks so I definitely uh, <laughs> would like to, to win something. That'd be nice. So, and, and like I said, this, this might be one of the uh, last times the car is in a, so there's more to come on that, but I got to show you my cute daughter. Look at her. Hello. Look at how cute she is. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> Don't cross your eyes. You look special. <laughs> People are gonna, 
question you. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, you're so cute. Peach eraser. Yeah, she's all about it. This is her happy place. Did a 11.3 at 120. Damn. Not bad. Yeah. One five seven six years faster. I know. Yeah, I was like, I was come like, on, John. Right. Like, Seriously, like, what's up with that? that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's making making soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a stick shootout car. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's fucking awesome. That car yeah. is amazing. I love that car. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Well, the clutch hey, is all... probably pretty pissed after those oh, launches. Sure. Oh, How about? It. Yeah. Hey, he went for one five though. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. Uh, testing is over for me tonight, at least. Uh, we did pretty well. I mean, uh, DA wasn't really great today. Back when we were in it at Bradenton for the first time, it was actually really cool out, really good DA, like low hundreds. Uh, tonight, it's real muggy. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the results. We went 11.5, we went 11.4, and then uh, at the coolest portion of the night, you know, a little bit ago, we just went 11.3 at 120. Uh, consistent 1560 foot. I think that that's all I'm gonna get out of the car because uh, the clutch actually slips a little bit before it, it actually hooks up any, anymore. So I don't think that um, I don't think the car makes enough power to really pull it out of the hole that much anymore, especially with those big tires on it. Um, but I'm really happy. So uh, got some good data, got some consistent times down. So I'm really excited to race uh, daily driver at 352 shootout. Um, Got some big things coming for the car. Uh, we have a power adder in the works right now. Um, still really trying to go Magnum T56. Uh, so a lot of things in the works, really trying to make a lot of things happen, but you know, life is busy. You guys get it, you guys have lives. So it's, it's really hard to put all this stuff together at the same time. Side note, my company, if you guys are into working out, if you guys are into healthy lifestyles, uh, myself, I'm a triathlete. Um, I also compete in powerlifting competitions. Um, I own a vitamin supplement company, Gold Metal Nutrition. Uh, my site just went live. By the time this video comes out, my site will be live. I don't have that many products right now in terms of supplements. I have a caffeine-free pre-workout. Pre-workout hits the same way it does if you, uh, as a pre-workout that has 350 milligrams or more of caffeine, you should get the same stimulant um, without any of the, you know, the, the onset of, of caffeine. Um, that's my only actual supplement. We do have gear like this shirt that I'm wearing now. Um, we have shakers and uh, I, the protein is currently in production right now. 
We have a whey isolate. Uh, fish oil and vitamins, uh, multivitamins are in uh, production as well. Um, so, you know, again, if you guys are into, you know, having like a healthy lifestyle and, you know, not everybody takes supplements, but if you do take supplements, I would really appreciate it. Uh, go to my site, www.goldmetalnutrition.com. It's in the link below. Um, that is my personal business. Uh, it, it'll really mean a lot to me if you, you know, if you decide, hey, I'm going to give it a try. Um, that, that helps a lot. That helps me do stuff like this. It's not really tied to my YouTube. I do plan on coming out with a fitness YouTube channel, but um, it, it would just mean a lot. So the site is live. It's been about a year in the works, um, and I really hope you guys like the products and you choose to try it. Um, you know, you feel free to email me at goforgoldsupplements.com. Um, my wife and I, we run the business. We're just a small business, and we're just I'm just trying to get it growing. So uh, that's it for now. I appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate the time. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hopefully you like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.